This is Bumper to Bumper TV. This is a vehicle that at first glance might be considered old school. After all, it's unashamedly an SUV with serious four-wheel drive chops and a body-on-frame construction. But somewhere along the way, as a large part of the market shifted to unibody-based crossovers, the Toyota 4Runner simply held its ground. The 4Runner's traditional body-on-frame DNA is an important feature for many buyers who also want the torsional strength to handle all terrains, even in the most extreme situations. Translation, this is a platform which Toyota can sell in nearly every market on the planet, let alone the paved roadways and parking lots of North America. While more than capable of going onto any surface, it can also be useful for more mundane things like hauling cargo. This load of wall and floor tiles weighed nearly 400 pounds, and it didn't cause the rear coil springs to even flex under the weight. Our test car was a limited edition, which means it had nearly everything the manufacturer's offers in the 4Runner, including 20-inch tires. Wisely, Toyota chose to provide a full-size spare in the 4Runner in the event of an emergency. Under the hood is a power plant that is evidence of evolution in engineering. Instead of a cast iron motor, this is a 4-liter aluminum alloy V6 engine block. The numbers for it are 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque, which operates on regular unleaded fuel. The only transmission offered in North America is the 5-speed automatic that can work with either a rear-wheel or a 4-wheel drive transaxle. The drivetrain is capable of pulling a 4,700-pound trailer, but how many off-roaders are really pulling a boat along these days? Front seat passengers enjoy a personal cockpit experience with every control less than an arm's length away. As for the second row, there's enough footwell space to avoid a feeling of claustrophobia. And for the third, only consider this as a cramped alternative to walking. We had a chance to use the Forerunner for a week in Atlanta, and if there was a regret, it was that we didn't have some really ugly road conditions like a mudslide to test it to its limits. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.